Gladiator does not fear death. He embraces it. In the annals of Roman history, the reign of Lucius Tarquinius Superbus, or Tarquin the Proud, looms as a dark chapter, a stark contrast to the ideals of the burgeoning Roman Republic. Tarquin ascended the throne through treachery, ousting his predecessor, the respected Servius Tullius. His despotic rule, marked by cruelty and an utter disregard for the traditional checks on royal power, fueled discontent among the Roman people. The turning point came with the infamous rape of Lucretia, a noble woman. This atrocity, orchestrated by Tarquin's son Sextus Tarquinius, became a rallying cry for the Roman people. Lucius Junius Brutus, a key figure in the revolt, emerged as a leader against the tyrannical Tarquin dynasty. The Roman Revolution unfolded as a popular uprising, leading to the establishment of the Roman Republic in 509 BCE. The Romans, determined to prevent the concentration of power in the hands of a single ruler, cast off the remnants of monarchical rule. Tarquin's subsequent exile did not quell his ambitions. He sought support from external allies and mounted military campaigns to reclaim the throne. However, each attempt ended in failure as the Romans, now united under the banner of republicanism, resisted his efforts. The legacy of Tarquin the Proud endured as a cautionary tale. His tyranny served as a catalyst for the Romans to embrace a new political paradigm that valued the participation of citizens in governance and rejected the whims of autocratic rulers. As the Roman Republic took its fledgling steps, the memory of Tarquin's excesses fueled the determination to build an enduring system that would stand in stark contrast to the oppressive days of monarchical rule. The overthrow of Tarquin the Proud heralded the birth of a republic that would shape the destiny of Rome for centuries to come.